Nice. Well, you know, expect nothing and you'll receive everything. Beautiful. Thanks for typing in. Nice. I'm just going to post some of these uh, across to those so that everyone can see it. If you just type to just me, I'm the only one that sees it. So uh, first time here. Thanks, Dave. Yeah, thanks, Sarah. Cool, it's total magic. So very excited uh, to, to have, to have so. Thanks, Jeremy, there you go. Appreciate you, man. Good to have you here. So this is exciting, and so welcome. This is the intro uh, session uh, that um, that you got with the. This is real time. Someone someone just asked, "Is this real time?" This is real time. <laughs> Funny if it was recorded. How how can I prove though? Because maybe that was just a coincidence in the quantum field. <laughs> Isn't it? The only the only way you'll know is to type something in and see if I respond. <laughs> say the time. Say the time and the date. No, that would give it away. <laughs> uh, Sam, uh, you, you, the person asking me is um, hasn't put their name in either. It just says Samsung Galaxy. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're going to have some fun today. So. Uh, <laughs> I'll say the time and date, but remember, I'm a, I'm in the future for um, all you you Americans. <laughs> so uh, I'm I'm excited to be here. Um, you know, it's the it's December 2016, and uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and you know, I'm looking forward to 27. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just joking, guys. It's uh, it's the 18th of December 2019. But time isn't real anyway. It's just a measurement, right? <laughs> oh, it's funny. It's funny. So, guys, we're going to have a really good session today. Um, <laughs> 17th in Calgary. I know I'm in the future. I'm, I'm sitting here, um, beautiful Gold Coast in Australia. Uh, that's that's a little uh, view that I have here as I'm presenting to all of you guys. So very very grateful and lucky to be here with you guys and sharing it with you so we're going to do three big things today and this is uh this is recorded so you can um you can access it in the future uh if you would prefer to just send messages to me you can change your your chat box to all panelists and it'll be basically like having a one-on-one -on -one session with to me okay so all panelists if you just want it to go to me and I won't read out your name uh, or anything you say publicly. If you're wanting to be in the group and sharing, just change your chat box, all panelists and attendees. And you don't have to interact with me at all if you want to sit back and enjoy the session. So uh, when I step into the field, everyone here live and also on the replay will have an amazing experience. So, hey, Mitchell, good to see you. So I'm very excited. We're going to cover three big things here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to talk to you about the history and the science of this work and explain to you some, some very uh, different aspects that, that we talk about that are, that are different to, to maybe what you've, uh, you've heard or, or experienced before. I'll explain to you where the superconscious recode is from, uh, how it works, and, uh, and really help you to understand the difference in the magnetic mind process that sets it apart from everything else. After that, we're going to have an experience. Okay, so every single one of us will experience the recode. I'll drop into your field. It'll be beautiful. Um, you'll love it. And so the, the last thing I'll do as well is once we've all had an experience, I'll also talk about, you know, how you can continue your work with us. Uh, we have an amazing masterclass and live events and all, all sorts of things as well. So for some of you, you'll, you'll really, really, really love it. So if, if it all sounds good, I think uh, we, should, we should jump in and, and uh, get started, don't you? I think it's, I think it's time that we, uh, we truly get started. So 
my question that I've had for my life is, you know, well, what is, what is success? How do you create it? How do you, how do you tune in? What do you, what do you need to do to create a successful life? And I don't know about you, but for me, that is a question that was, was always there. And th this led me down to think differently. You know, I left, I left school very early, uh, didn't finish high school and, and became a personal trainer helping people. So I've been in the helping people business field for, uh, for over 17 years now. And what, what I continually found is there, it, lots of people have the desire to, to succeed and to, to have the results they want. However, they're limited. Um, by themselves, which is, um, <laughs> thanks Jeremy, is they are, they are limited and they've created limits. But the truth is we, we couldn't actually be a limited being. We're completely unlimited and we have access to so much information and we're so much more than these, these limited mindsets or mind frames that we have. And so I don't know about you, but how many of you believe that, you know, what it is that you believe turns into your reality? Uh, give me a yes if you believe that, you know, what you, what you believe uh, is what, what you create. Yeah, so, so same with me, same with me. What, what happened was I started reading books like Think and Grow Rich, right? And, uh, you know, started, re started reading and, and looking at these and applying myself under the premise that, you know, there must be something in here that I need to change, okay? And this was a great start. I ended up getting certified in all this work, and and uh, and, I, and I did a lot of a lot of programs. You know, you you name it, I've done it. EFT, NLP, all of Robin's stuff. You know, Matrix Energetics, uh, Money and You, all of T Harvick's programs, and I just kept going at it. And the whole premise that I had, guys, was. Uh, that if I could improve myself or fix myself or have the right thinking, well, then success would be mine. And this is a fundamentally flawed premise. And it's why the personal development world is so broken. See, what this creates is an idea or an ideal that there's something, something wrong with you that you must fix. Okay. Well, and why, by wrong, most, most of us don't like to hear that, but in the nature of needing to improve yourself, the other end of, I must improve myself is I'm not good enough right now. And so, so what happens is you see people just go to course after course, after course, after course, after course, and they have a lifetime of therapy and EDMR and tapping and Reiki and hypnosis. And, and just give me a yes. If you've seen this, they just keep on saying, I'm going to this course, this course, I'm changing my eating, I'm going to read another book, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. And, and, and I was that. I was that. I was going to everything and I was spending more money on everything and I just kept going to it. And I want to be clear, my life did improve. It did. Like it, I got improvements, right? I got improvements. But the problem was, is I would always find a way to sabotage it. Does that make sense? I'd always find ways to sabotage it because here's what happened. And I want you to hear this straight off the bat is the identity that I created was that I wasn't good enough to have it. So anytime I would have it, my identity would be in conflict with having it. So I would pull it away. Does that make sense, guys? Your ego, your self-consciousness wants to stay in alignment with what is safe. And I tell you what was safe for me. Right now, not good enough. I got to go for something. That was what was safe. Right now is not good. I got to improve. I got to do something. So whenever I would have something, whenever I would have something, I would start thinking, well, what am I going to do with it? How am I going to improve myself? How am I going to get to the next level? And I never was able to keep it. Okay. And this is such a big thing. And I want you to write this down. Okay. Your identity is in conflict with your desire. Uh, Nancy, similar, but, but I'll, I'll talk the difference in, in a bit. Your identity is in conflict with what you desire. See, most of us have one of six sabotaging identities. Okay. Your identity is in conflict with what you desire. Most of us have six sabotaging identities. Okay, the, the first one that's the most 
the, the most prevalent that's everywhere is I don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. We have an identity of not deserving. So we don't inherently just deserve love or we don't inherently don't deserve. We're not worthy. I'm not worthy. I don't deserve it is the first one is I'm not worthy. I don't deserve. And so this person is always trying to do something to deserve or to be worthy. In fact, there's even crazy books out there that say how to be worthy of love. Kidding me? How to be worthy of love. We should all hand that to our, uh, our two month uh, year old newborn babies. Hey, you're not deserving of love. Here's how to be worthy of love, right? So it's crazy, right? So, but it's the first one. The second one is I'm not good enough. Okay, so we have an underlying assumption that we're not good enough. And so we're always trying to do stuff to be good enough. Okay, the, the third one is uh, I need to be perfect. Okay, so I have to be perfect or I'm not perfect. I'm trying to perfect myself. And I see this a lot in this work. You know, people going, well, I need to have the perfect beliefs and the perfect structure and the perfect morning ritual and the perfect, and they're just wanting to be perfect. And the underlying assumption here, guys, is that you can't just have things. You must fix yourself, improve yourself in order to have it. The next one is I'm not capable. So I'm not capable just to have it. I got to get a business partner or I'm not capable just to, to do this. I don't have enough money. I'm not capable because I never have enough time. And there's always this capability. That's number four. Number five is I don't belong. We have an underlying belief that we don't belong. So we're always seeking to do things to belong, but the structure is I don't belong. And then the last one is that you're insignificant. You feel insignificant and, and you're, you're wanting to do something. And so I'll get questions like the one I just got. How do we increase our vibration? How do we do this? And here's what I want to say to every single one of you. <laughs> Every single one of you, you don't need to fix yourself to have whatever you want. You are not the most important part in your success. You are not the most important part in your success. Everyone, write this down. Success isn't personal. It's structural. Success is not personal, it's structural. And I want to prove it to you. I want to prove it to you that it's just a structure. And what I mean by structure is that in life, there are structures everywhere and we will always take the path of least resistance. Okay. So Michael Jackson, he has... He created things that a lot of us would desire. A lot of money, world recognition, fan base that supports him, living his talent, living his purpose. Yet, he didn't have to fix himself to have all of that. What about Lady Gaga? She cried before going on stage. Created over here, but didn't fix herself. Steve Jobs created the first trillion dollar company, but didn't have to fix himself. See, J.K. Rowling, who wrote Harry Potter, gave away a billion dollars. She's amazing. Yet, she had all sorts of things going on. She was a single mother, didn't have any money, still created, created what she desired over here. What about Oprah Winfrey? She's amazing. Amazing. And so, there's this huge world of work that says, it's all about you. Fix yourself. Improve yourself. Get the right beliefs. And what happens is, if you step into that world, all that you create is an identity of someone that needs to be improved or fixed to have what they want. And that identity, that premise, never goes away. Now, you might ask, well, Chris, how do you know this? Well, I met a self-made billionaire, and he looked me in the eye, and he said, Chris, you will never, ever, 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 ever see it until you be it. He said, every time you keep going and trying to fix yourself, you're reinforcing that you're not it. 
He said, none of my friends have fridge magnets that say I attract money into my life. None of them, you don't go to their coffee cups and see money sitting around everywhere. They don't read affirmations, they're just it. And so part of my work is, is getting out here and letting you guys know that there's a big underlying premise that's just, that's just incorrect. And that is that you, you think in the, this whole healing personal development world that it's about fixing you. And success just isn't that. And, and you know, to, to finish off with examples, there's a guy that, that sits in the White House at the moment that runs the world and he can manifest what he wants. He, he decided to become president, he made it happen. He decided to marry a supermodel, he made it happen. happen. It, it, he, he's able to create, and I'm not, this isn't a political thing, obviously it's not that at all. It's talking about someone who's not trying to resolve himself right? He's, he's clearly got self-esteem challenges and other things going on, but he's just choosing to create what he's choosing. And, and to me, this is my first big point. Before we do the recode, before I even get into the science, the first point I want to make is the person sitting in Bali on a hill saying, feel abundance, feel abundance, feel abundance. You have to feel abundance in order to make money. They're just wrong. I've met so many people with lots of money who, who don't feel abundant. And then I've met loads of people who feel abundant who are broke. Give me a true if that's true, right? There's people that say, oh, Chris, you've got to feel. You got... And it's just not true. It's just not true. And so I love what Abraham Hicks says. She says, just got to have no resistance to it. You're perfect, you know? You just got to have no resistance to it. Give me a true if this is true because... It is, a, it is a premise I want you to shift. It's a premise I want you to shift. You don't have to be anything other than what you are, and you can have everything that you desire. You can be, you don't have to be anything other than you are, and you can have everything you desire. Because success is not personal, it's structural. It's structural. You can have self-sabotage, you can have doubt, you can have all these things, you can still have success. I can show you guys millions of people that have doubts. In fact, their doubts sometimes have helped them. Their doubts have sometimes helped them. So let me talk to you a little bit about the structure of success, okay, because this is important. This is important. So here's your current reality, your CR. And you have a desired reality over here, okay? So the women that you saw, by the way, who saw my demo? Give me a number one if you saw my demo of, of the, two, the two women. Has everyone seen the demo? Yeah, cool, cool. Okay, so this is how that demo worked, okay? The current reality is a fear, fear of public speaking. Okay, that's their current reality. Their desired reality was to feel confident. Now, I don't focus on resolving this, okay? This is them, so this is where they are. So one thing we can do is we can focus on the problem and try to fix it, okay? So we can focus on this fear and try to fix it. But that is not what you do when you create. Instead, what you create is you say, I want to be confident. I desire this. So what's in the way? What resistance is in the way of me being here? I don't focus on resolving this at all. I know this person is completely fine, completely whole. They just have some resistance here in the middle to having what they want. But they still fine. That's still perfect, that's still fine. There's nothing wrong with them. Does this make sense? It's a structure. So if your current reality is not enough money, not enough dollars, you don't need to try to go down here and try to change your beliefs about it. No, instead, you need to choose to have lots of money and notice, well, what's in the way? But I'm still good enough. 
What's in the way? What's the resistance that's in the way? Can everyone see here that the focus changes everything? The focus changes everything. Let me have a look at some of these comments. Can you see that the focus changes everything? Yeah. Give me a yes if you get that. Yeah, the focus changes everything. And so this is such a big, big, big thing. You focus, you notice where the resistance is. I'm not trying to go down here because if I'm going down here trying to fix myself going down here, what am I doing? I'm trying to fix the current reality. And the idea is that you can, you can heal yourself so much that all of a sudden, boom, you pop out into success. Okay? And this is the underlying assumption that has really caused a lot of havoc. And so this is what I want you to get as summary. It's not about fixing you. It's about removing the resistance uh, to what it is that you desire. Ah, well, we're going to go through a demo, guys. We're just doing the pre-work right now. I love it. No, Matt, Matt's got a good question, uh, and it's, it's an easy one. Is What's the difference between fixing yourself versus improving yourself? Well, we can think about semantics, but either way, here's what's being said. I know, I'm not good enough, right? I'm not good enough. I got to, I got to improve. I got to fix. Right. And so that's an underlying, it's one of the six. I'm not good enough. I got to fix myself. And so the work that we're bringing forward with the super conscious, the reason why the recode's going to move so fast for you today is because we're going to just focus on creating what you like. So instead of trying to fix what's wrong, we just, we, we end up creating what you love, which in turn fixes but without focusing on it because your focus creates reality. So it's a very, very, very big fundamental shift. A few of you might need to watch this intro uh, again uh, to, to, really, to really get it, to really get it. Once, we, once you get this, your whole world will shift, okay? Because what I see in society is a world full of problem solvers, okay? And they focus on their current reality. They focus here and they say, okay, what's wrong? I'm just going to fix that. Now, when you do that, all you do is get just away from your problem. But let me ask you, yes or no question. Is a life with no problems the same as a life you freaking love? <laughs> of course it's a no a life with no problems is just numb it's just numb but that's what we're all told to do it is is resolve all these things that are wrong with us and then we can and, and and you just end up just here just void of problems but where's all the energy all the energies on this negative on the problem so it's not true so so one of the things that i really love to teach is conscious creation okay is conscious creation. Focus on what you desire, remove the resistance to it. Focus on what you desire and remove the resistance. And I just tried for years to fix myself enough so I could have it. I mean, yeah, I, I did everything. And, and now I'm just happy just being myself and making millions of dollars and having a great relationship and everything else. But I'm the same, you know? And that's what's beautiful is that I've realized success is just a structure, okay? It's, it's not personal. And, and I'll give you a quick example uh, about this. A, a lot of people think that you've got to be a certain way to make money, okay? And, and uh, it's a good example uh, to give, but it, it's the same for health. It's the same for, um, you know, love. It's the same for impact on the world. It's, it's the same for a lot of things. Okay. Is, is, um, well, we don't need to focus on the non-resistant thoughts. No, we just focus on what we want. Just focus on what we want. And so, so this is what's, uh, really interesting is, 
it's money's a structure. Okay, and, and hear this. Money doesn't care whether you have abundant thoughts, self-obsessed thoughts, save the world thoughts. It doesn't matter what you believe about yourself. We can all agree that there are all types of people, people who love to spend money, people who don't spend, talented, non-talented, abundant, scarcity, bad, good, evil. We can all agree that there's all types of people that are able to manifest money. True? There is no way we can go, it's this type of person has it. There's just no way. No way. I've been into houses and seen people who are so scarce that hardly spend any money and have hundreds of millions of dollars. And, and then I've seen people, the complete opposite. Okay, that's just true. See, so money is a structure. I'll tell you the structure of money. I'll tell you the structure of money. First off, money is a measurement. Money is a measurement. It's not an energy. It's there to measure something. And what it measures is it measures one thing. It measures the amount of value that you've given to another human being in a way they want to pay for it. It measures the amount of value you've given to another human being in a way they want to pay for it. Is it true? See, it's not just about the amount of value you give because you can give tons of value in a way that no one wants to pay for it. And that's a fine, it's a beautiful thing to do. It's just not the structure of manifesting money. Does this make sense? Give me a yes if you get this. So do you, does everyone get the point now that success is a structure? It's a structure. It's not personal. It's a very big thing to get. It's not personal. Such a relief, Kat. Yes. Yeah, so, who thinks it's a relief to know, oh, I can just be me and uh, I can have whatever I want. See, there's, there's, no, there's no way to be more spiritual than being a human being. You can't be more conscious than you. I think the word conscious is a funny word because the most conscious thing you can do is be a human having a human experience. <laughs> you know, how could you get more conscious? Hey, how could you be more spiritual? <laughs> I love it. So what we do here at the recode is, um, you can, what we do here with the super conscious process and the magnetic mind is we're going we're gonna to show you how to tune your mind into to creating everything that you desire. Okay. And how we do that. Okay. Is number one, we, we choose, we say, what do I want to create? Because you're infinite. You're, you're all possibilities. What do I want to create? Do I want to create a healthy body? Do I want to create a, the love of my life? Do I want to create an abundance of money? Do I want to create a, an amazing house? Uh, that I love to live in? Do I, do I want to create an, a, a business that transforms the world? Do I, what do I want? What do I desire to create? Okay. And we just, just whatever it is, whatever's in your heart, that's step one. Okay. Then we do, we do and understand where am I now? Okay. So second principle that I want to introduce you to. Okay. We, have we all covered the first principle is, is success is structural. The, the second principle is uh, yeah, just, just what you want, not when you want it, just what you want. You, you know, so Chris said, uh, you typed in what I want, when I want it. Well, unfortunately, um, there's a Fibonacci sequence in the universe. There's a perfect rate of growth. So you can't plant a seed today and go, I want my tree tomorrow, right? It's, it's going to grow one, one, three, five, eight. It's, it, there's a perfect sequence of how things grow. Right, there's, there's a universal principles here. We can't we can't go faster than than Fibonacci. But that's off topic. 
<laughs> so, so back to the, the topic of today. <laughs> uh, I mean, we could go off topic, but I'm sure everyone has has more to do today than just hear me talk about the consciousness and, and, and how success works. So, so the second principle, okay, is uh, we'll always take the path of least resistance. Okay. So success is structural. So as an energy, okay. And you're an energy. I'm an energy. We're an energetic being. We will always take the path of least resistance. Okay. So, if, uh, you know, if, if you, you have some water in a bowl and you tip the bowl this way, okay, gravity pushes down on it, the water moves that way, least resistance, okay? If you have uh, uh, hunger, so if you don't have enough food in your stomach, okay, that is, that is resistance that needs to be released by you going and eating food, okay? So tension seeks resolution. Tension will seek resolution and you'll always you'll always, as an energy, you'll take the action of least resistance. Now, here's why this is important. People always ask me, well, Chris, how do I know, how do I know if the recodes worked? And I'll say, well, you will have no resistance. They say, well, how do I really know? And I'll say, well, you'll be able to take an action that you couldn't take before. You see, you will be able to take an action that you couldn't uh, yeah, right on, Christy, Kirsty, right on. I get it. So if you put some cold water in a, in a glass and next to it, you put a heater, right? Hot heater. Like it is, it is, you know, a hundred degrees. <laughs> What's going to happen? There's a tension here. This water is going to get hot and turn to steam. Now that's the same with you. This is a plastic glass, yes. And so that is, that is what I mean when I say these words. Tension will seek resolution, okay? Tension will seek resolution. It will seek equilibrium. You take a rubber band and stretch it, both ends want to come together. A lot of people wonder why they can't get movement towards what they want, like they can't get momentum. And in order to get momentum, this is the second big principle that we must go through. The first is it's structural. It's not about fixing you. It's about removing resistance. The second is understanding that you create a tension seeking resolution structure. So here's how that works. Step one, we go, this is what I want. I want to be here. Step two, we actually notice what it's like now. So if you watch my demo, the first thing I say to them is, what do you want? They say, I want to be confident. I want to, have an, I want to be amazing. I want to be, I want to be able to be a speaker. And I say, great. Well, what's it like now? And this is where you see them go, well, oh, you know, now it sucks. You know, I feel nervous. My palms are sweating. Does this make sense, everyone? And we do this on purpose. Because when you say I'm here and I want to be here, okay, this is when the resistance can actually rise up, okay? Because what you've got to understand is there's nothing wrong with what you've created right now, okay? One of the things that we like to do is we say, well, I want to be a millionaire and now I'm broke, okay? And that's just the truth of it, right? Cool. That's the truth. But what we do is we then go and add all these, uh, these, these personal things to it. Eh? We're like, and it sucks, blah, blah, blah. We don't realize that we created it. This is ours. We wanted it this way on some level. And I'm going to talk about the, in a second the different aspects of us that, that created it. And so this allows us to realize, and I want you to get this, you always take the path of least resistance. So think about this. If there's more resistance in your field to go out there and say, I love you first, to go on the first date, to lean in for the kiss, to go, to get back up. If there's more resistance there, you want, you'll stay home and eat Doritos and watch Netflix, right? There's least resistance in that. Okay. So this is why a lot of us will go, Oh, I want to do that. No, it's much easier to go read another book and focus on, uh, on my mindset than actually getting in the game. So we, this is how we know whether the, 
the recode is really having the effect that we want to have. Okay, we always take the path of least resistance. So I just want to make sure you guys get in this because I've got one more point before I talk a little bit about the science and things. Okay, so right on, Laura. So the first is that success is structural, not personal. The second, okay, is that you will always take the path of least resistance. So today, the third thing, we'll go one, two, and then three, is we're going to find the resistance. Okay, we say, what is it that you want? Where are you now? And what's the resistance? Why are you not able to just have it? Why are you just not able to have it? Because there's no reason why you, being an amazing human being, don't just have exactly what you desire. You see. So who's enjoying today so far? Give me a give me a yes if you are. If this has been worth it so so far, I've just got to quickly grab something to to wipe this board. I'll be back in one second. So once I realized this stuff, once I, <laughs> thanks Mitchell. Um, once I realized this, thanks guys. Thanks for all of the, the comments. Yeah, I got it, Jasmine. That's all right, Lisa. We'll, we'll give you the, the recording and stuff. Yeah. Um, thanks. I've got one last thing to talk about, then we're going into the experience. So in total, probably just over an hour, yeah. maybe longer. I'm on a little bit of a rant today, but it's a good one, I think. Thank you. So what was I going to say? Okay, so, so once we go, this is where what I want, this is where I am, and then this is what's in the way, okay? Now, uh, now we've got to ask ourselves, well, why would we have that resistance? Okay, so I've been very, very lucky to, to be taught over a three year period, uh, the recode, how to train someone's brain, uh, how to train someone's brain to let go of resistance. Okay, so, so we have three different memories. All right, we have the, the super conscious, unconscious, and self-conscious, okay? And each one of these are memories, all right? The superconscious memory is the memory that came through your parents and will, will always be there. It's an infinite source energy, okay? Just, just imagine this is you were once a, a sperm and an egg came together, turned into a cell, turned into multiple cells, turned into a heartbeat, turned into a human, which is, um, which is pretty, uh, Matt, uh, we, we'll, we'll show you, bro. We'll show you. Just, just hold that question. So, um, what was I saying? Super conscious, good question though. <laughs> I should probably close the chat box down for a sec so I don't get distracted. So the super conscious, Bert Hallinger uh, has studied uh, family history and family DNAs in his constellations work. And he says that there's seven generations of trauma, seven generations of pain and emotions that come through us, seven generations. And think about this, you don't just look like your family, you also have traits and all sorts of things, you know, uh, health, health consequences, but you also have other, other emotions and, and ways of being. And this super conscious memory, the, the key about it is it's different to the other two. So the super conscious is through time and space. It came through your parents and will continue in all of eternity. And it is just here to experience life. It's just here to experience, okay? The superconscious doesn't matter if you're experiencing poverty. It doesn't matter if you're experiencing love. 
richness, abundance. It's just like, hey, I'm just, I'm here to experience being a human being. I'm source energy. I'm just super conscious. And it's very cool. And we connect to it and say, hey, look, we'd prefer to stop experiencing uh, no money or loneliness. The super conscious, like, oh, okay, let's change. And so it's the original part of you. The unconscious comes into existence when you become a human form and it just wants safety. So the unconscious wants safety, wants everything to stay the same. Okay, so your unconscious wants safety, your superconscious wants experience, and then your self-conscious, well, you know, it wants it wants to live the good life. Okay, and I mean those words literally. Whatever you coded up as a child as what a good boy or a good girl should do, that's what the self-conscious wants. And so all aspects of you, the superconscious, unconscious, and self-conscious, kind of competing, okay? But when we go in and we, and I connect to your superconscious today, okay, we can recode right from the top, all right? Because your superconscious is connected through all time and space, so I can connect into it. And for those of you who've ever done anything via distance, and those of you watching the replay, it's going to be tremendously exciting for you. So how the recode works, all right, is it's like we, and if you've had a recode experience, just, just give some more love uh, in, the, in, the, in the chat box about what it's like. I'm going to bring into your active experience your resistance, okay? And it's like your active experience, the, the field you're playing on has lots of bumps, like those little animals, those gophers have, have come out of the ground and they've left little mounds of dirt behind them where they've dug their hole. And what I ask is I say, hey, superconscious, do you see all this? And what happens is, is superconscious says, yes. I say, hey, let's clean this up so we can play a bit better. Okay. So we pull out all of the resistance and that just runs away, like the gophers just runs away. And then we ask the superconscious just to smooth over all that dirt so that we can just play on the active experience uh, without, without all these problems. So it's very, very, very cool. Uh, and what you experience is the resistance you had before isn't there. So you don't have to do anything. It's not um, NLP, it's not energy work, it's not hypnosis, it's simply me connecting to an aspect of your consciousness that created it all, that created it all. And it's a big deal. And here's what I've got to say is, uh, you're perfect and you don't need to be fixed. You just need to remove resistance that you perfectly created towards something you want. So who's up for the experience? It's going to be a closed eye experience. It's going to be awesome. Uh, give me a big yes if you're ready. All right. So first question and keeping your eyes open for now, I've got a few questions. First question. First question, what would you like to create? What would you like to create? Either type it in or give me a number one if you've answered the first question. If you're writing it down, just put in a number one. Some of you like to take, this, take the session notes home with you. So either type it in or write it down and give me a number one if you've done it. Great, great, great. Okay. Second aspect of the first question, okay, is it's still the first question is how would it feel if you had that right now? How would it feel if you had that right now? How would it feel? And let's just go into how would it feel? This is the first question. I'm just feeling it all for you.
All right, so now let's go into the second question to create the tension to pop out the resistance. Compared to that, what's it like now? Compared to that, what's it like now? Either type it in or give me a number two if you've done the second question. Compared to having that, what's it like now? How does it feel now? What's your experience now? Cool. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, the question was, compared to what you desire, what's it like now? Yeah. Thanks. So the chat box is filling up really fast. So if you have a question for me, just use the Q&A button. Cool. So the next uh, question is we want to start to create, uh, understand what the resistance, okay? So you're here, you would desire to have this. You got this, you desire to have this. So my question is, is what beliefs do you have that cause you to be here and not there. Let's start about what beliefs about yourself create this. What beliefs about yourself? And let's just, and just write them down, type them in. What beliefs do you have about the actual goal? The possibility of it, whether it's a good thing. Too big, too small, hard. Unrealistic. What inner conflicts do you have? Part of you wants it, part of you doesn't. How do you finish the sentence? I really would like this, but. I don't know where to start. I don't know enough. Yeah. How do the six sabotage patterns relate to this? I'm not capable to have it. I need to be perfect. I've got to do things right. What emotions, what emotions are present? So what I want you to do when you feel like you've got enough is to draw a circle around it all, okay? In your mind, if you type it in, just do a circle. And then ask yourself, out of 10, how much resistance do you feel you've created? 10 is the top. So 10 means like you're swimming upstream, you got ball and chain. Zero means you're swimming downstream, it is easy you got a bungee cord around you, hold on, let's go. Okay, so 10 is lots of resistance and zero is no resistance. So I always say to people, if you've got five or above resistance, this is gonna be nearly impossible for you to hold on to this. Like you're gonna to have to use all your willpower to have it. Like you, and isn't it true? For those of you who have got above five resistance, it's like going for it, like I gotta force myself, I gotta push. You basically gotta fight yourself. You basically got to fight yourself. 
So before we do the recode, which you're about to do to get that resistance down to zero, I want you to understand one thing, okay? You created that resistance for a reason, for a reason. You created that resistance for a reason. And here's the reason. You created that resistance to protect yourself from going for something and failing and everyone seeing that you're not worthy, that you're not good enough, that you're not capable. You created that resistance to protect yourself from going for something and potentially failing so that people could, would actually see that you're not good enough. Right? Let me know if it's true. On a deep level, is that true? See, once you own that you created it, now we can super consciously recode it. So how the recode works, okay, is we're going to uh, step into the, I'm gonna step into your field and I'll be giving you gentle instructions you'll have your eyes closed and you won't need to do anything but just notice what you notice, okay? We'll do a round of it. Thank you. We'll do a round of it and we will let it all settle. I'll come back and I'll say, how are you going? And yep, it's okay. And then we'll go back into it and we'll finish off, okay? So you don't have to do anything, expect nothing, appreciate everything, and just be open to what's happening. So if it's okay for me to connect to your super conscious, just give me permission energetically. Uh, just, just give me permission energetically and close your eyes and in your mind, just, just give me permission to connect to your super conscious to, to remove this resistance in your field today. Just give me a moment to connect. Just give me a second. Just if your eyes closed, just breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, and just relax. Don't expect anything. Okay, so just staying relaxed, nothing you need to do. Superconscious, are you there? Superconscious, can you please bring all emotions, fears, and worries into the active experience that are causing resistance? Can you please treat and do a massive change history of all emotions, including past events all the way back to the original event? Please treat and do a massive change history and everything is needed. Just breathe, we're just getting started. Superconscious, I want you to treat the body systems, ears, the brain, neurons, all connections through the chakra points, genetically through all the stress systems. Please treat and do a massive change history and everything as needed, thank you. Superconscious, if the original event is a priority, let's treat it. Please go back to the original event, this timeline, past timelines, or through family history. Please go back to the original event, whether it's a future event, past event, or quantum event. And Superconscious, please treat this event with all emotions, misaligned beliefs, and allow all pain to turn to wisdom. Please treat to a massive change history and everything as needed. Thank you.
All right, that field's starting to move. So just stay with your eyes closed and just let to happen what's happening. Superconscious, I want to treat the alignment statements. I can have this. I will have this. I believe in this. I am this. I deserve this. I'm worthy of this. I'm good enough for this. Please treat everything in the active experience around those statements. Please treat into a massive change history and everything is needed. All right, there we go, guys. We're all moving. That's brilliant. So just sit in that and just breathe and just imagine there's a big ice block melting on a hot day. A big ice block melting on a hot day, hot summer's day, melting, melting away. Just imagine that. You're all, you're all doing great. Superconscious, please treat fears, fear of loss of love, fear of rejection, fear of looking silly, fear of the unknown, fear of death. Superconscious, please treat all aspects of fear to a massive change history and everything is needed. You don't need to do anything, just notice what's happening, notice the process, some, some feel things, some don't. Superconscious, please treat all chakras front and back, thank you. Superconscious, please treat entities. Please treat entities. Please treat the emotion, beliefs, desires of this entity. Please treat to a massive change history and everything is needed. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna just check in with, uh, with you guys. It feels lots of processing is happening. I can feel it. So if you just want to check in, we're not done yet, but um, I want to just make sure everyone is, is shifting and moving. So um, please open your eyes for a second and just, just type in how you're going. Thanks, Cara. Thanks, Mitchell. Thanks, David. Cool. Thanks. Cool. <laughs> Cynthia. <laughs> yeah, it's we're about to go in. Nice, nice. Yeah. Okay, so now we know what it's like. You guys ready to go after this and have your resistance down to zero? All right, so just choose to go back in. Now you know what's happening. Your brain can relax and you don't need to do anything. So now is where the, the big shifts will happen. Just close your eyes and relax. Superconscious, do you see the part-time personality of the protector controller, the one that's protecting and blocking all change and wants to keep everything the same? Yes, please ask this part-time personality to come out in front of us. And superconscious, do you see the blocks energetically, emotionally, and thoughts, and all worries and concerns this part-time personality has? Yes. Superconscious, please do a massive change history and everything is needed 
around the protector controller part-time personality, including all aspects of consciousness, memories one, two, and three, and everything is needed. Please treat to a massive change history, please. Thank you. Some big belly breaths. Superconscious, please connect to the inner child. Please connect to the inner child that's creating resistance towards this choice. Please require to have treatment. Superconscious, please treat the inner child and let it know that once trauma is treated, all pain can turn to wisdom. Please let it know it will not die. We'll just be able to receive more information. So please treat the inner child in relation to this resistance. Please treat to a massive change history and everything is needed. Superconscious, there's a lot of fear of letting go in the field. Can you see it? Yes. Please go back to the original event, to a massive change history, including unintended consequences and broken promises. Please bring that into the active experience and please recode. Just stay present with it, it's all good. So we can't see the heart. Permission to, to live from my heart. There's so much pain around permission to live from my heart. Super conscious, do you see that? Yes, please treat to a massive change history in just a gentle way, just a nice, gentle, just, just melt, melt any resistance. Please treat in a loving and gentle way to a massive change history. The superconscious, please strengthen this new choice with confidence. Please strengthen this new choice with self love. Please strengthen this new choice with determination and trust. And if there's any last resistance, between 10 and zero. I want you to bring that resistance into the active experience in the perfect way, in the perfect order. And please do a massive treatment. 
can change history and everything is needed, including memories one, two, and three, quantum memories, tandem memories, past timelines, broken promises, secondary intentions, family DNA, family history, emotions, beliefs, thoughts, entities, and of course, structures. Superconscious, do you see this resistance? Please treat and do a massive change history and everything is needed. Grounding all memories into the matrix of the universe, like water flowing down a tree going to the ground, please ground all these memories. Just take a few big breaths, team. Allowing that to settle in as you desire. Just notice how it feels when you think about that choice now, the one, that goal that you want to create. Just notice that. Now just choose it. Choose with your whole energy that you will be, have, and do that. Choose to already be it now. Just choose it. Notice how it feels. Beautiful stuff, guys. The, the whole field is smiling back at me, so you can open your eyes and come back. Just give yourself a moment or two. I'm just gonna fill up my glass with some water. So please type in the chat box, it'll just be a minute. All right, how is that? Let me have a look. Whoa, says Coach. Coach William. Powerful, I'm a little dizzy. Eight to zero, saw a field of dominoes. Wow. Massive change, yeah. Heart-centered, nice. Right on, David. Right on, Jeremy. It was big, Deb. Thanks, Sylvia. Right on, Matt. Love it, Mark, eight to zero. Uh, Jeff, we, we have, um, yeah, we have a masterclass. We do three a week. Uh, yeah, until, until there's, if there's no resistance, then you, you're just taking the action. Nice. Big stuff. Right on. So just let me, can you just do one thing for me? What's the, and what was your original resistance? And, uh, oh, hey, Carol. What was the original resistance and where's it at now? So 10 to three, nine to two, eight to zero. Those are some big shifts and that shift will continue to, to play out. Yeah, wow, seven to two, that's a big difference. Eight to, I don't know, when you, if, you can't, if you can't feel any resistance, it's, that's a zero. Maybe three, yeah, fair enough. Do the meditations, Heidi. Matt, yeah, nice, that's a huge difference in just one session, especially your first session. Don't have a number, <laughs> that's a zero normally. Cool. So, 
That's the recode, guys. Uh, and it's a very cool process. Uh, we tune into what we want, and now we go and uh, we take action. Well, that's a big shift, Colleen. Yeah, Philippine, maybe you need to take another, another crack at it. That's all right. What does being in the middle feel like for resistance? I need a bit more context, um, Matt. Um, what materials, Cynthia? There's no materials. It's just me on a session. You do feel good. Well, that's good. Uh, is there supper? <laughs> is it, you mean food? No, surely you're joking. Uh, so, so some... <laughs> well, James, we all have the ability to connect to our superconscious. Oh yeah. So if, if you haven't, um, if you haven't got the, the link in your email, uh, to all of the online materials, I will pop the link in here for you now. Um, some people's emails, um, have chosen to be annoying for us. Let me send it in right now. I understand what you're saying. So I'm going to put a link in here. Yeah, I know. Everyone keeps saying to me this week, I never received an email. And I'm like, well, how annoying is that? Because <laughs> we sent it. All right, here you go. All right, so there, I've just sent you all a link. Can you guys all grab that link and um, paste it somewhere so you've got it? That would be wonderful. I had to already help Jeff, I think. I'm not sure. Something must have happened because there's too many of you saying I didn't get it for it to be your fault. <laughs> Um, it's also in the Magnetic Mind Tribe Facebook group, so you can just grab it, grab it there. So, uh, have you guys had a good session? There's, there's two things that, did you guys have a good session? Was this a good, a good first experience? Um, this replay will be available if you click that link. Um, if you tag me on Facebook, I'll, I'll, um, I can find it for you so you can see it again if you desire. If, if, that, if that's where our, um, our relationship finishes for now, that's, um, that's okay. So Tasha says, where do we sign up to receive reoccurring sessions? Well, I'm just about to tell you if it's okay. So uh, I'll get into that right now. Because who, who would like to have more of these sessions, you know, and actually go through it and have live sessions and those sort of things? Yeah, cool. You're already in the program, I know, Kat. Well, if you're already in, then, then you're already in, <laughs> uh, which is great. So, so look, what we do is uh, we have two places you can go to next, all right? You can get fully certified in this work, and uh, it's very intense, and there's, a, there's significant investment. Uh, however, today, what I want to talk about is just working with you. Now, if you're someone that says, you know what, Chris, I want to be certified. I'm going to say, hey, jump in and start working on you right now. And uh, yeah, well, I appreciate you, Jeff, man. Seriously, brother, I appreciate someone say, hey, it's not working because we've been, we've been stressed out of our brains trying to figure out why people aren't getting the emails. <laughs> we don't know. So anyway, things happen, don't they? And, and um, we just love everyone being gracious about that. There's a few people in the group that got a little bit riled up and I'm thinking, What's going on? <laughs> Why wouldn't I send it? <laughs> you know, it seems a bit ridiculous. Anyway, so it's all being sent. Yeah. Um, anyway, so there's two ways to move forward. We have a um, a, a ongoing uh, masterclass, and it's uh, it's absolutely awesome. And I'll be thrilled to have you all in there. So if if you've had enough for today, and you just wanted to have an intro and you're going to go just, just chill on that for a bit. I love you. You, you might be saying good night, goodbye now. Um, that's totally fine. If you want to stay around and hear more about the, uh, the masterclass and what it's involved, it's going to take me about 10 minutes to talk about it. And then I can send you a, a checkout link and you can upgrade. It's very affordable. You'll be very, very surprised at just how affordable we've made um, spending 12 months with us. So, uh, let me, uh, this is the intro. Yes. Yes. This is the intro session. Um, usually we go, we just zoom right through it. Okay. Um, 
The Magnetic Mind Masterclass is a 12-month journey for anyone wanting to magnetically create their future. There's an online university, university a two-day experience, and weekly coaching. So the university goes through uh, all sorts of uh, different fundamentals, and it has uh, real detail on, on how to apply this for yourself. Um, and then we have four two-day experiences each year that you can come to. It's included in the Masterclass. So that's absolutely brilliant. You're also going to get uh, weekly coaching, okay? There is three live recodes every week. How many can someone type it in? There are three live recodes every single week. So that's a lot of access. I wouldn't suggest you do more than one, um, but if, you, if you're like Kelly, where's Kelly? I think Kelly does like five a week at the moment and she's amazing, so. Uh, you can have as many as you like, but there are three a week. So the core program uh, in the university, um, the, the first is we create your lenses. We get you really clear on your end results, the nature of reality, swing circle outcome frames. We align your values, practical alchemy, perceptual shift, how beliefs are created, internal frames and money beliefs. Seven step emotional alignment, my favorite meditation of them all, and the map method. Then, then weeks through seven through 12, we really start to get at quantum. We white out negative emotions. We understand how manifesting works at a deep level, remove uh, internal conflicts, metaphors, family entanglements. Now, all of that is the basics, fundamentals. You also get the recodes on top of that. Okay, so it's very deep. And it's for anyone wanting to learn how to be a conscious creator. Do I have anyone who wants to be a conscious creator on here? and to consciously create their life and realize they don't got to fix themselves and they just got to focus on what they want. See, a lot of people don't get started because they think they're not ready, hey? They say, I'm not ready for that. And I'm like, well, it's not about you. It's about what you want to create. So look, the, this is how much it's worth. The, the 12 months access to the university is worth three grand. Uh, I've had to spend a lot more than that to figure it out. Uh, it says two weekly recode sessions, but we've added up to three now because uh, of time zones, so there's at least one that fits your time zone. So you get two, uh, three a week, we put $10,000 on a value for that for the year, and four two-day experiences with me. Um, so the normal price is four nine nine five. dollars and let me just ask, who thinks four nine nine five for a whole year, four two-day experiences, two weekly, who thinks that's a pretty amazing price? Give me a yes if you do. Who thinks that's a pretty fair and amazing price? Yeah, that's the whole, freaking year. So, you know, this isn't just a one-off. This isn't, you know, just one recode. Um, yeah, thanks, James. Thanks. So, super reasonable. Now, um, we've got some bonuses that you'll get today. Uh, the first one is I have 30 transformational meditations. Um, yeah, fair enough. You have 30 transformational meditations. They're all uh, only 20 minutes each. No longer do you need to spend two hours sitting in a meditation and you'll never get bored. There's a lot of different ones. I sell these for 2000 or 199 Today, they're free, okay? Mitchell, there'll be steak knives. The steak knives are coming. <laughs> uh, these are some of the, the, the core meditations, all right? So they're very, very, very cool. You're also gonna get today a weekly um, productivity session. So we do this live every single week because Truthfully, you've got to get out there and take action. So this is going to be free as well. Um, we do them both morning and night, Matt. Yep, both types of meditation. Plus, what you're also going to get free today is the last 12 months of recode sessions. So who likes to move really fast? Type in a fast if you like to move fast. Who's a fast mover, just wants success? Yeah. Someone wrote in fats. No, fast, fast. <laughs> so I'm going to give you the last 12 months of recode sessions, okay? That's over 50 one-hour session like today, all right? So if you thought today was pretty cool, imagine, you know, once you, you register for this, I'm going to give you 50 of these, um, which is pretty freaking cool. And that's free today, by the way. That's completely free. So here's what you're going to get, 12 months access to the university, 12 months of the weekly recode sessions, a two-day live experience with me. You're going to come to at least one of those a year, so I haven't priced all of them, at least one. Uh, as a bonus, 30 transformational sessions, 
weekly peak productivity session and 12 months of recode. So all those bonuses are free. So, you know, who, who's in, who wants to, who wants to take this and spend a year with me? I'll be coming to Texas. I spent a lot of time in Austin. Who, who would like to spend a year uh, and come and do this? Tracy says, yes, I'd love to. Um, who, who would like to? You'd love to because I've got a, a, a super special offer coming right now. The opportunity is going to blow you away. Okay, so instead of four nine nine five, I'm going to give you a humongous discount, and you can just keep all the bonuses. Uh, you can keep all the bonuses as free, um, but I'll give you a huge discount. So today only, you're going to save three thousand dollars. Okay, which means you can do one nine nine five for the whole year. Or 49 bucks a week, $49 a week. You will never see a better deal than, than $49 a week for all that. Now, so who's in, by the way? Who, who wasn't expecting it to be quite that easy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, so it's very, 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 very uh, affordable. So, so there it is there. There's the link. So look, at $49 a week, it comes, um, comes out about $2,500 for the year. Um, so if you do pay in one, it's cheaper. Hey, you're going to save nearly $600. Uh, I've sent you the link uh, to, to get your order. Just let me know if you're all in so I can look out for your order. Mark's all in. David's all in. Kristen uh, is all in. Um, yeah, right on, Matt. Cool, cool, Jeremy. I think you've got to be in this one, Jeremy. Nancy's in. Beautiful stuff. So, so there's a link. Okay, so I've sent you the link. Um, <laughs> no steak knives on offer today. Just truth, hey. Like, no, no, no hype. Just truth. Just, this is, the, this is what you should do. Um, it will change your life. If, if all you get out of it is the ability... Uh, this is not the certification Colleen's in, Sherry's in. Now, if you want to be in the certification, anything that you put towards this, we will count towards the certification if you sign up later. Does that make sense? So my, my prayer is jump in this and then get, start getting recodes, get in the work. Anything you put into this will bundle up uh, into into the certification. So, so don't, 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 don't worry about that. It's just truth. Uh, it's just love. There's over 300 people in the group. Um, you'll never make a better investment than this. It's the last course you ever have to buy. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the freebies are better than steak knives. Look, if you click on that link I've sent you, I'm going to show you where it takes you to. Uh, it's just the truth. Hey, uh, it's not, it's nothing other than this works. And if you don't know this, you're going to be at a serious disadvantage in life. When you do know this, you know, you're going to, um, you know, you're going to create a, a you're going to create a life you love fast. So here it is here. Uh, it says claim your discounted membership. So this is the link I've just sent you. Uh, all you got to do is click through to here. Once you click in, it will say, do you want to do it in one, um, in the full payment or do you just need to split it up over, over the weekly price, okay? If you scroll down to the bottom, you can see uh, everything that's involved and uh, we'll make sure you get all of your details and, and everything else is there. So there's lots of client results, lots of proof and uh, you don't have to, I don't have to sell something that's so amazing. So uh, be in this, be in this um, program. Um, yeah, that's all right, Matt, if that's... Uh, if that's all good. So, so jump in this. This is not the certification. Uh, this is us working on you. And it's very, very, very cool. Uh, Colleen, there, there's, uh, there's a couple different uh, offers on the table. Um, yeah. So just reach out, Colleen. Um, if you want, we can get someone to call you. I can send you a link about that. So this is included in the certification, Nancy. So Nancy's question was, can we do this and the certification? If you're in the certification, guys, you've already got this, okay? So this, this in, is included in it, Nancy. So that's why I said if you're buying this, it just bundles up into it. So I think that's the same for Jeremy. So as part of the certification, you get the whole 12-month program, right? So it's, there's, 
there's no difference there. So, so just, just jump in this, if this is the right price for you right now. And, uh, if you join the certification later, we will, we will honor what you've put here. Uh, you know, you should take action now. Someone asked me, is there a time limit? You know, uh, one thing they say in life is you, you've got about 24 hours to stay in momentum with something or you'll talk yourself out of it. So, you know, my prayer is, you know, take, take action, get involved. Uh, if you get in and you hate it or you don't think it's great, just let me know. Like I'm not, we're not going to keep you, keep you in if it's not what you love. You'll love it though. Uh, you, you know, you will absolutely love it. You'll find your tribe, you'll find your people. And, you know, uh, every single one of you, yeah, you, yeah, you, you can, you can try to talk yourself out of it. Hey, but on the other side of learning this, your life is so different that it's hard to even, it's hard for me to even say there's just, there, there's nothing more important than joining this course, you know, and I hope that you will feel that from your heart. Obviously you're paying me. So there's part of you that might think I'm just saying that, but, but I actually am not, I, I'm actually just really serious. Um, yeah, yeah, cool. So, so love you guys. Thanks, Jones. I'm glad you didn't as well. Um, we care about you all so much. And whatever program you're in, if you're happy with your intro program right now, then stay in that. And um, no, you'll be great, David. You'll jump straight in. Um, what if I want to participate but not? Yeah, so you're just going to come to one recode uh, once a week is all we got to do, James. Uh, I don't expect anyone on more than one recode a week. Yeah. And, uh, and so it's about, this is about your life. You know, this is about you choosing to, to truly create, but just one recode a week is so transformative. Just what you did today is transformative, right? And, uh, doing this, uh, every single week is as well. So, Look, I just hope that this is met with love. If you want to stay where you're at, that's just, we just, uh, um, that's just all love. You'll get an email once you, once you register, I'm sending you the link now. Um, but Hey, did we have a good session today, guys? You know, uh, did we have a good session? Did we get a lot out of it? Uh, where's Jeff? Is Jeff still there? Did you get it? He's got it here. Um, nice one. Thanks, Colleen. Thanks, guys. It was awesome, I thought. Lucky it was recorded, hey? Yeah, nice. Smooth your feathers. Um, yeah, right on, Jasmine. We can't wait to have you in. Uh, so that's all good. Cool. Thank you all right back. Uh, it's with just love that I get to share this work with you. So... I guess have an amazing rest of your, uh, yeah, Colleen, I'll, uh, do you want them to call you now? Are you available for a call now? Yep. Cool. Uh, on it. Um, beautiful. Anyone else that needs, uh, your ordering? Um, the link to rewatch this will be as soon as, as soon as I can. Um, cool. Awesome. Matt, are you, are you available for a call right now? Oh, not tonight. Awesome. Just, oh, now everyone's saying, call me, call me, call me guys. Just jump in this program. If you can, it's 49 bucks. We'll call everyone who's, who, who's here. I think we've got to call a lot of people cause their emails bounce and things. So we've got a lot of calls to make. Um, but if you want to, if you want to call Nancy, I don't have a last name there. So I'm not, if you could put a last name, I'll be able to see this. There's 180 people on here, uh, so I can't see everyone. Um, already in, enjoying it, beautiful. Ah, that Nancy, I think I was, I'm supposed to chat to you today. Do you want to see to give you a call? Yeah. Have we got the right number for you? Cool, all right guys, well I think that's it. I feel like I'm just dragging, dragging time right now. Um, I'll get Ducey to call you. Those of you who were in the contest, I think there's there's a couple spots still available. Um, don't don't hold my word to that. So if you haven't actually confirmed, I think you still can. Um, I've had a couple of days off because I did a big event this weekend. So um, if you were in that, then then that's cool. If you don't know what it is, Colleen, I don't think you were in it. Um, beautiful stuff. 
<laughs> Colleen, someone will give you a buzz to sort everything out. <laughs> well, if you got a text, then you, you did it. Nice, Nancy. Well, let's get that all finalized then because uh, people, um, I don't know if it's even still there. Please ring Tusi and let's get it done. <laughs> um, there's people here wanting it too. Okay, everybody. Well, you guys are all amazing. Thank you very much for being on. Uh, I'm sure that it was, it was really cool, re really revolutionary. And I'd appreciate uh, all your positive reviews on Facebook. Have an amazing day. And until we meet again, uh, be magnetic.